Children deserve to come into the world healthy. You know, they, they don't choose which world they come into. Where they live, it shouldn't matter. One of the challenges in global health is that we often have the skills and the equipment to save the vast majority of newborns and children. It's just a matter of providing these life-saving interventions to the children who desperately need them every day. Mass General is active pretty much all over the world. We have extensive uh, programs in Asia, Africa, and also concentrations in South and Central America. Areas where the vast majority of newborn mortality is occurring. I've been working predominantly in India for about 20 years now. We quickly uncovered there was a huge need in the rural areas to reduce maternal and uh, neonatal deaths. Now almost every village has an ASHA worker. This is an accredited social health activist funded by the Indian government. And because they live in the villages, people trust them. This is the person we have been working with so that they would recognize sick mothers and babies. Now the ASHA workers, if they can get the women to the healthcare facility as early as possible in pregnancy, then tons of preventative things can be done. Because the bottom line is, if we can get the baby to six months of age, the chance of them surviving and thriving is very, very high, and it is making a difference. Worldwide, uh, approximately 6.9 million children um, die before the age of five every year. In fact, about 3.3 million children will die within the first 28 days of life. So one of the leading causes of newborn mortality around the world is actually what we call birth asphyxia. They may appear blue, they're not breathing, and sadly, um, many of those babies are wrapped in a blanket and set aside and considered um, a stillbirth. But in many cases, these babies can be effectively resuscitated just with simple approaches. Once you give the baby a couple of breaths, they quickly pink up, then they will oftentimes start to breathe on their own. In many of the places where we're working, for example, in Sub-Saharan Africa, the local health system is really struggling with limited resources. In Ghana, we're training in newborn resuscitation as well as how to take care of babies over the coming days. Our program in Tanzania started about two years ago, training eight to 9,000 healthcare providers and helping babies take those first breaths of life. Most births in Bangladesh happen in villages. And these children, their eyes are looking at you with wonder and excitement and, and you just get drawn in. But maternal and child health in Bangladesh is a huge concern. Respiratory infection, malnutrition, prematurity. Women don't often go to the hospital. Simple things that we do in this country to help stabilize the newborn aren't being done for many of these children. And the nursing profession in Bangladesh is one that is not well respected. And if you don't have good nurses, you don't have good health. And the Minister of Health has asked Mass General to bring forth a proposal to help enhance nursing. Our goal of our proposal is to take a cohort of nurses and mentor them and help empower them to teach other nurses. The health of children is our future and the health of women is what brings our children into the world. And so whatever small impact I can make, that's my responsibility to do. One of the important roles uh, I feel of MGHFC is to change the current standards of care, to elevate the standards of care. You can't just swoop in and fix things. You've got to be there and understand and then step back so that the people who are there can take the lead. I think the world is very small and MGH has that vision and appreciation to know that we are one world and we are not that far away from each other.